What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on Create a Pro website. My name is Levi Hagen and in this video we're going to be speaking on the top 10 WordPress plugins that I regularly use when I'm designing a website. I'm going to be placing links down in the description for each one of these plugins as well as timestamps for the video so you can skip along to whichever plugin you're interested in. If you're watching this video because you're thinking about building a website or if you're already in the process of building one, I definitely recommend checking out the other videos on my channel because all we do here at Create a Pro website is walk you through building your website step by step. In these tutorials, I walk you through the downloading of all the plugins and themes that you're going to be needing, and I show you how to set them all up. Now, a plugin that is, in my opinion, absolutely essential to your website would be any page builder, such as Elemental or Divi, so these are not going to be included in my list. The point of this video is to talk about the top 10 WordPress plugins that I use on a regular basis and why I recommend using them on your websites as well. We're going to start with some basic or generic plugins, and then as the list goes on, we'll get into some more important and powerful plugins towards the end of the video. I also saved my all-time favorite plugin for the very end, and it's not one that you would expect, so stick around. With that being said, let's get started. The first plugin that I want to talk to you about is called WP Forms. I potentially use WP Forms more than any other plugin on this list simply because you always need some sort of a call to action or a contact form or email enrollment form somewhere on your website. This is a very simple and easy to use plugin, yet still very useful with the amount of capabilities that it has. You can put together some kind of a intricate contact form for your business website in the contact section to gather insight on what type of work you're going to be doing for them. You could insert a weekly newsletter email enrollment into the footer of your website using a name and email field to build your email marketing list. Or you could have them fill out a simple questionnaire including their number so you can get in contact with them later. There are so many options that you can creatively use this plugin for. All you have to do is choose your simple contact form template or make a blank form and then add fields by dragging and dropping them into place. You can specify what type of characters you want entered into a field like numbers or letters and then you can also label those fields as well. After that, you can go ahead and mess around with the settings a little bit and you can change where the emails go when clients contact you. Finally, you can insert that form into your website and completely customize how it looks by using a page builder like Elementor. Now, most page builders like Elementor or Divi provide you with a contact form widget that you can use use within the page builder itself, but I find myself using WP Forms more often because it's additional customizable capabilities. Alright guys, the next plugin is called Pretty Links. Now Pretty Links is a fantastic plugin that helps you with the SEO of your website, but it can also provide more readability and cleanliness to your site as well. Using the plugin, you are able to customize or rather cloak your page's URL with another cleaner one. For instance, your URL might look like something like levihagen.com slash blog slash photography slash post one with a whole bunch of letters and numbers behind it as well. But you can change it to look like something a little bit cleaner like levihagen.com slash DSLR. And that way your link looks a lot more clean and easy to understand. In the same way, I usually end up using this plugin for affiliate links and managing many links at the same time, making it easier to keep track of all of them. When you receive an affiliate link, they usually are filled with a long string of letters and numbers that looks a little bit cluttered. So you can use this plugin to redirect or mask that link with a prettier one. So something like createaprowebsite.com slash hosting, for instance, which is one that we use here a lot on the channel. In addition to making your link look prettier, you can also include keywords into your page's URLs to improve your site's SEO. Now, for those of you who are new to this, SEO means search engine optimization, which is basically trying to maximize your site's performance and presentation to rank higher in search engines. I won't get too deep into it in this video. You can do your own research on the topic, but you can definitely use pretty links to add keywords in your URLs and improve that SEO. The next plugin is more important for those of you who are running a blogging website when you're constantly giving people other information that they might want to share. But it's also important for those of you running e-commerce websites if you're giving out products that people might want to share with their friends. This plugin is called Grow by Mediavine, and it's a social sharing button plugin that allows you to insert buttons that will share the post or product to social media in a clean and professional way. Again, there are many different uses that I can think of when it comes to social sharing buttons. Maybe you're a freelancer who has a personal website with a review section where people can click on a share button and then refer a friend. Or, like I said earlier, you can have an e-commerce website and allow people the capability to share a product that they like with their friends. You can get pretty creative with it and it's very simple to use, so I thought it was important to include on my list. 
The next plugin allows you to integrate your Facebook Messenger app onto your website so you can live chat with anybody who clicks on the icon. This way you can create your own Facebook business account and easily message your clients live from your smartphone or computer at any time. And if you get tired of constantly messaging clients, you can always hire someone to manage that Facebook page for you in the future. This feature is really unique because people always like fast responses and also talking to a real person. So providing them with that opportunity to communicate directly with you is invaluable. If you're a small time freelancer offering your services, you can answer questions and negotiate prices quickly and you don't even have to be at your computer to do it. After using the plugin for a little bit, you can also jump into the settings and customize the direction as well. Have you ever been on a website that you were about to click the exit button, but then a pop-up displays over the website saying something like, before you go, do you want to sign up for our weekly newsletter to stay up to date on, and then whatever, whatever? Well, you're able to do that with your website as well. With a plugin called Icegram, you can choose from tons and tons of different templates for header banners or call to action pop-ups to insert into your website, and then you can further customize them after selecting one. You could display a banner across the top of your website mentioning a store-wide 30% discount for some kind of a holiday sale. Or you could offer an email subscription to your weekly newsletter for your blog. There's tons and tons of ways that you can use this plugin to grow your email list and yield additional conversions for your website. I've used this plugin many times before with moderation, but I definitely think it's a great addition for your business. All right, let's talk about security for your website for a second. Now, it's widely known that securing your website from malware and hackers is absolutely essential. Or at least, I hope so. But in any case, definitely need to take steps towards protecting your website from intrusion. And for this, I definitely recommend the WordFence Security plugin. WordFence Security will fortify your website with firewalls and malware scans, and it also includes things like blocking, live traffic, login security, and much more. Now, an important distinction is I'm a web designer, definitely not a cybersecurity specialist, so I don't know exactly how most of this works, but I know the basics of how a firewall works. I just don't want to get into it in this video. That's for you to do your own research if you're interested. All I know is that WordFence has over 4 million active installations, and it's arguably the most trusted and widely used security plugin for encryption and firewall defense for your website. I typically leave all of that to the experts, so I just download the plugin and check it often, and I would recommend that you do the same. The next plugin that I want to talk to you guys about is Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress. If there's the golden rule in website management, it would be paying attention to your metrics. I cannot stress that enough or how important it is to actually pay attention to the traffic that comes into your site and also where it's coming from. It's absolutely crucial. Now, that being said, if you already check up on your metrics, you're most likely using Google Analytics because it's free and incredibly easy to use. Just go to analytics.google.com and you can hook it up to your website. What this plugin allows you to do is take a summary report of your analytics and post them on your actual WordPress dashboard so that you're constantly up to date on what's going on with your website. In addition, this can also help when you deliver the website to a client, for instance, that they have easy access to the website's metrics right there on the dashboard because you've already placed it in front of them. Some of your clients might not even know how to log into Google Analytics, so having it right there can make things a lot more user-friendly. After you install and activate the plugin, you have to log into your Google Analytics account and pull some special access code to copy and paste into the plugin settings. Once you do that, you'll have live metric updates on your dashboard. Simple as that. We've also got a video on the channel that shows you how to do it. All right, everybody, this next plugin that I'm going to talk to you about is probably the largest and most powerful of all the plugins on this list. The amount of capabilities, customization, and power it gives you is just incredible. If you're looking to make money online by selling products, either via drop shipping or managing your own product, but you don't want to pay for a Shopify subscription or something of that nature, then all you have to do is build a free website and download WooCommerce, which is an extension to that website that comes with tons and tons of pre-made templates for online stores that look like this. After selecting a template from the many different choices that you have, you can go in and edit each individual page using a page builder like Elementor and completely customize your site. And I've got lots of tutorials on the channel that show you WooCommerce and how to create online stores if you're interested. In these videos, we go in depth into the functionality of WooCommerce. Now using this plugin, you'll be able to add products to your website, set up a checkout process, set up different payment methods and shipping methods. You'll be able to discount products and create coupons and much, much more. This is an incredibly powerful tool that you can use to build your e-commerce store and business. And I definitely recommend doing some research and checking it out or just watching another one of the videos on my channel about it. Also important to mention that WooCommerce is arguably the top e-commerce plugin when it comes to WordPress with millions of active installations. So I strongly recommend going ahead and checking this one out. 
This next plugin is a really powerful addition that you can use to integrate with WooCommerce, the previous plugin that we just talked about. Cardflows is a plugin that works well with Elementor and WooCommerce to create customizable sales funnels for your business. Upon installing and activating Cardflows, you have access to a very large repository of templates where you can customize your very own sales funnel by putting together a series of pages connected for a customizable checkout process. When you download a template, it inserts a series of pages that you can customize with a page builder like Elementor, where you can create a landing page that leads to a checkout page that leads to a thank you page or an upsell page or whatever related products that you want to show. If you're already interested in WooCommerce and you're trying to sell products online, I would definitely strongly recommend checking out Cartflows as well, because it's a very powerful tool in generating those leads and sales. I've used it many times now, and I think it's very capable. If you don't know what sales funnels or sales flows are, I would definitely encourage you to do a little bit of internet searching to learn about it, especially if you're looking to make an online business. All right, everybody. So the last plugin that I want to talk about is probably one of my favorite plugins out of the entire list, and it's called White Label. This plugin is incredibly powerful. It has a lot of functionality to it. It allows you to completely customize the back end of your website and login screen in case you have like a membership based product service where they actually have to log in using WordPress. Allow me to explain a little bit further. When you're in the process of delivering a website to a client, you can completely customize the back end dashboard of the website. And by this, I mean the WordPress dashboard using the page builder Elementor to make it much easier for your client to understand. You can also place a contact form from WP Forms, for instance, right into the dashboard so that your client can email you anytime they have a question regarding their admin privileges on the website. And again, we have a video on the channel that shows you how to do this step by step. Not only can you customize the dashboard the same way you can customize a web page and make it look fantastic, you can also customize the login page. When you type in the domain name with wp-admin behind it and it takes you to the WordPress login, this is what you can customize. So instead of this, it's rather plain, it can look a little something more like this. Looks a little bit better. That way, every time your client logs into the back end of your website you just created for them, you can place their company logo and also an appropriate image and theme to it. Not only can you customize the login page and the dashboard, but you can also customize the sidebar in your WordPress dashboard as well. You can insert their logo in there on the top left corner. The amount of customization that you can do with this plugin is extensive and very impressive. I use this plugin virtually on every website that I create, so it definitely is one of my favorite ones. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. That was a list of the top 10 WordPress plugins that I regularly use when I'm building a website. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new or something that sparks your interest so that you can at least do your own research. If you're interested in learning how to build your own website, definitely check out the rest of the channel. We talk you through a lot of in-depth tutorials on creating your websites step by step. And if you're interested in getting started today, check out that first link in the description where you can get a huge discount on your web hosting. And if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do to help. I always enjoy reading your comments and personally try to respond to as many as I can. Anyways, guys, I wish you guys the best and I'll see you in the next video.